In the heart of early medieval Europe, buried in a grave at Solad, Hungary, lies the story of a woman from the 6th century. Known to researchers as AV2, she lived during the Avar period, but her DNA opens a window into the deeper ancestry of early Slavic peoples. Today, we dive into her genetics to uncover the genomic tapestry of early medieval Central Europe. AV2 is part of a burial group dated to the 6th century C, around the time the Avars arrived in the Carpathian Basin. Yet, genetically, she doesn't resemble the Avar elites from Mongolia or Central Asia. Instead, her DNA suggests deep roots in the local and neighboring European populations. We begin with an FST analysis, a measure of genetic distance between AV2 and 50 other ancient and modern populations. The lowest values, meaning the closest affinity, are with Ukrainians, Russians, Mordovians, Belarusians, Hungarians, Croatians, Estonians, French, and Bulgarians. The genetic footprint aligns with what we might expect from a person living in the early Slavic cultural zone. To better understand her deeper ancestry, we use admixture modeling based on ancient reference populations. In one model using Mesolithic sources, AV2 breaks down into 46% Anatolian Neolithic, 31.6% Eastern Hunter-Gatherer, 14.4% Western Hunter-Gatherer, and 8% Caucasus Hunter-Gatherer. A second model focuses on later Bronze Age ancestry, specifically, the corded ware culture, often associated with Indo-European expansions. In this model, AV2 is composed of 47.3% corded ware, 32.6% Anatolian Neolithic, 20.2% Western hunter-gatherer. This admixture profile supports the idea that AV2 was descended from Indo-Europeanized farming and pastoralist populations, especially those linked with early Slavic and Balto-Slavic groups, a blend of steppe, Anatolian, and Western hunter-gatherer elements. Another admixture run reveals that she carries between 1 and 2% Neanderthal ancestry, which is typical of Eastern Europeans. AV2 may have lived under Avar rule, but her genome reveals an ancient story, one of farmers, hunter-gatherers, and pastoralists that laid the foundation of early Slavic Europe. I ran her genome through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. She is predicted to have blue eyes, dirty blonde hair, white skin tone, wavy hair, and a Greek nose shape. She was predicted to be intermediate between warrior and warrior profiles, to have intermediate D2 receptor density, intermediate odds of autism, to be lactose intolerant, to have intermediate levels of empathy, intermediate odds of epithelial cancers, lower odds of autoimmune disease, lower odds of obesity, and decisively blood type AB. She carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's and familial Mediterranean fever, a condition mostly common in Mediterranean populations. With my trait predictor, she scored particularly high for odds of hemoglobin E disease, male pattern baldness, type 2 diabetes, and prostate cancer. She scored particularly low for odds of bipolar type 2, rheumatoid arthritis, and migraine. I also ran her genome through my GWAS health predictor tool that uses genome-wide association study datasets to predict the risk of various conditions. With my GWAS tool, she scored high for odds of schizophrenia, skin cancer, Parkinson's, and mental disorders. She scored particularly low for odds of heart attack, colorectal cancer, breast cancer, Alzheimer's, and autism. You can purchase her raw genome in 23andMe format, as well as my tools and services, from the links in description of this video.